This is the first screen that appears when you switch on either 450X. Here it shows how to start the vehicle. Here we have to apply the brake and push the start button to start the vehicle. Now we are not going to start the vehicle, we are exploring different options available in this dashboard. In the center portion it shows the percentage of charge available in the battery and the estimated distance that can be traveled in different modes. If we change the mode from echo to ride, sport and to warp, it will show the approximate distance that can be covered in that particular mode of drive. Here we have the current ride distance odometer, trip meter and the average speed. In the rightmost side you can see the maps that powered by Google Maps. The map can be maximized tapping this maximizing button. Here in this map I already set my work location and home. If you tap on that work button it will be ready to navigate to that location. This is the Q controls available. Here if you press on these documents, it will show all the documents that uploaded to this vehicle. We can send the driving license, insurance and vehicle registration certificate to the vehicle from the Aether mobile app. Now I haven't sent those documents to the vehicle, that's why it doesn't show any documents on the screen. If you tap on the settings, it will show profile, settings, connectivity and notifications. In the profile, it will show the vehicle's names, you can edit that name and in the bottom you can see a shutdown button as well. If you go for a long vacation, then it's better to shut down the vehicle and when you come back you can just turn the key on to start the vehicle in the settings you can adjust the display brightness there is an auto brightness option as well There are two themes, dark and light. You can choose the one that you really like. Here are the controls for park assist and indicator sounds. It will make a sound when you put the vehicle in reverse mode if the park assist sound is on. Similarly, you can turn on and turn off the indicator warning sounds as well. In the vehicle setting, we have auto indicator. It will automatically switch off the indicator when you complete the turn. When I tried, in most of the cases, the vehicle automatically detects completion of the turn and it automatically turns off the indicator. Guide me home lamp turns headlamp on for a few seconds. after you switch off the vehicle. It will also helpful for you to guide you to your home. There is an incognito mode as well in this vehicle. The smart echo mode automatically adjusts the acceleration of the vehicle to give you the true range that is displayed on the vehicle. There is another option optimized charging. If you turn the optimized charging on then the vehicle will be charged only up to 80%. It's provided to improve the life of the battery. The auto hold feature is the latest update from Aether. The auto hold feature holds your vehicle in an uphill or downhill even though you release the the vehicle detects the slope and it adjusts the torque to the wheels and it holds the vehicle standstill in that slope. The connectivity option helps you to connect your scooter with your mobile phone through Bluetooth. After connecting, you will be having control on music and calls on your mobile phone from this dashboard itself. Here it will show if you have any notification from either. Once you start the vehicle, this screen will appear and if you tap here, it will show the maps. After moving the accelerator to the neutral position, you can change the modes of the vehicle. The selected mode can be recognized from the color as well. Now let's check the reverse mode of this vehicle. If we swipe from the left, then the park assist mode will be activated. The start button can be used to toggle between forward and reverse. A combination of buttons can also be used to activate and deactivate this park assist mode. After applying the brake, press the indicator middle button and the start button. It will activate the park assist mode. The same combination can be used to deactivate the park assist mode. This is a short overview of the dashboard of either 450X Gen 3.